Within the Karakan trade baronies and its colonial holdings, hundreds of billions of ignoble and noble lived within the system, with history stretching beyond even the oldest civilization on cradle, naturally, to name every single cultural affiliations, religions, and movements ever existed within the baronies is a difficult task, but in the modern day, there's five major social groups, noble affiliations, and cultural movements currently grip the baronies solidly. neo are a hardline conservative faction who practice a religious and cultural veneration of Pasikalia I, who they see as the savior of the Karakan people and the imperial messiah, a monarchal deity whose mandate to rule is evident in his creation of the Anorum prior to the discovery of the Blink. In their view, the collapse of Anorum Pasikalia was due to the neglection of its successors, the system failed merely because Pasikalia I stewards failed him, with the wondrous technology of the Blink and the OmniNet, revelations, they believe, from Pasikalia I, the neo pasikalians would truly carry out his legacy. Through Helios Gate, a text that collects apocryphal lessons of Pasikalia I as their moral guide, they aim to abolish the federal Karakan monarchy, subsume the major houses, and create a new independent Anorum from the remains, which is why everyone else basically views them as complete nutcase. To modern Karakans, the era of the Anorum is as distant as the fall is to a cosmopolitan human in union, a return seems arcane and backwards, but despite this, neo pasikalians have enjoyed a minor though notable impact on the policy proposals of other nominally more moderate conservative factions. Though their cultural aims may seem as if they have come from the grave of history, their ideas concerning the centralizing of the state, empowering of the monarch, and strengthening of the military are very much in line with the objectives of the hagiographers. There's no neo pasikalian major house thankfully, but there are a fair number of neo pasikalian minor houses scattered across the concern and the interest, most tend to be small to middling in size, and are more common among the military than civic institutions. While neo pasikalians may be targets of cultural ire or mockery, they are certainly tolerated by most hagiographers, who they often align with politically, federalists tolerate them, but view them as culturally backwards, with ridiculous political goals. Republicans and neo pasikalians are diametrically opposed and view each other as existential threats to their respective movements. Hagiographers, are the true monarchists of the baronies, they seek to establish a powerful confederacy of consenting sovereign states, each in command of their own subjects, and they think centralization of the baronic state around Karakis is a mistake, one that can only lead to conflict. Before the Union Karakan War, hagiography as a political theory emerged among the military and minor nobility, first as a militant anti-union party and paramilitary social group, then following the defeat of the new federation fleet by SECOM forces, the hagiographic movement gained steam as an angry response to the perceived mismanagement of a once mighty power by the centralized new federal government. By the time the first Union Karakan War ended, the hagiographers successfully gathered enough power to lead the ruling council in a no-confidence vote and, ultimately, ended the federation. Unable to fully grasp power in the turmoil that followed, the movement pulled back and evolved into a militant conservative political movement, and in the centuries since, the hagiographers have established themselves as a vocal plurality faction that holds sway in the houses of stone and sand. Their party planks stand against what they see to be the liberalization of time-honored traditions, the degeneration of ancient Karakan culture, the weakness of the federal Karakan monarchy in addressing internal and external threats, the arrogance of Harrison Armory and its expeditions into the Dawnline shore, and, as always, the overbearing presence of Union. Federalists are far and away the largest political affiliation among the noble classes and voting members of the ignoble classes, federalism is the primary motivating ideology of the Baronic Council, the ignoble house, and the broader constituencies of the concern and the interest that support the current status quo, though often along a spectrum of conservatism and liberalism that swings between hagiography on the one side and liberalism on the other. Federalists support Karaki's involvement in union via the prime baron seat on the central committee and leadership of the fourth column, they imagine Union to be a useful ally and guarantor of the Barony's continued stability, as with Union taking the brunt of the burden for building and maintaining galactic infrastructure, the Barons are free to concentrate on their own projects in the interest and in the concern. To the Federalist major houses, preservation of Karakis and the Baronic system via the Federal Karakan monarchy is paramount, there is no desired return, only continued well-regulated development of the existing system. The gradual addition of more major houses is taken as a given, though not to be handled lightly, expansion into the Dawnline shore is the right of the baronies as dictated by the new prosperity agreement, but should be engaged with care and moderation, all-out war with opposed states is to be a last resort, 
and if avoidance of that end necessitates union's involvement in Karakan interstellar affairs, then so be it. Majority of major house are federalist, such as the House of Order, the House of Smoke, the House of Moments, and the House of Glass. Republicans, here's the original definition of republicanism, again, desire the complete elimination of not only the current baronic system, but of the systems of nobility that have persisted throughout the history of the Karakan people, as well as the equalization of political power between the nobility and ignobility. Karakan Republicans, by and large, desire for the baronies to be united not under a crown, but under an elected representative government, they demand the abolishment of both the crown and the social classes of noble and ignoble, and instead of a baronic council and ignoble house, there would be a reformed federal Karakan monarchy beholden to a single council and its representatives. Karakan republicanism is a relatively new phenomenon in the baronies, having only two major houses stand behind it in the past two centuries of the interstellar state's history. Nevertheless, it has become increasingly popular among unland minor houses across the concern, ignoble populations, and the wealthy merchant shipping class, moreover, it is the system of government under which the newest prospective major house, the House of Promise, operates, and one towards which a major federalist house, the House of Smoke, now leans. This change looms large in the mind of the hagiographers, as it could ultimately swing the baronies toward massive social upheaval. So far, two major houses have abolished legal distinctions of nobility and ignobility, undertook vigorous land reform, enfranchised their populations, and adopted constitutional representative democracies, the House of Water and the House of Dust. These major houses are houses only in administrative designation, and are federations in their own right made up of district-based minor houses with elected representatives. Those with former noble titles have been permitted to keep them for personal use, but they hold no legal distinction, title, or hereditary claims. The House of Water was first to adopt republicanism, following broad popular agitation in the wake of the Free Sanjak Revolution, this process was not accomplished without significant attempts made by the Houses of Sand and Stone to disrupt the plebiscite, though after a tense and exhausting few weeks, diplomatic intercession, and many small skirmishes, large-scale anti-republican violence was avoided. Shortly after, the population of the House of Dust advanced a similar plebiscite, and this time opponents held their powder, seeking to entrench their opposition via diplomatic and political channels instead, and publicly accepting fleeing nobles. To date, no other major houses in the concern have attempted to abolish their monarchies, though a growing plurality of the Karakan population express pro-Republican sentiment. In contrast to the liberal wing of the concern's houses, Republicans are considered by conservative houses to be extremists, foolish hubris ticks at best, and enemies of the state at worst, as many Republican groups and sympathetic minor nobles backed and aided the ungratefuls on Sanjak during their rebellion. Tolerated but not loved by the Federalists and Liberals, Republicans tend to find their friends in union, among the ignoble classes, and in landless minor houses across the baronies. Liberals, are liberals. The House of Remembrance is the baronies' only liberal major house, frustrated with the slow pace of the change that animates the baronic council, the House of Remembrance seeks to liberalize the existing system while maintaining the status quo. Despite media presentation in the more conservative houses, Remembrance is far from a revolutionary house. It seeks adjustments to current paradigms, not wholesale change. These adjustments include a broad expansion of personal speech liberties and major house-managed social safety nets for the ignoble classes, a reduction in the rigidity in class interactions between the ignoble and lower rank nobility, and greater mobility between the worlds of the concern and the interest. Finally, as a reminder, these are the five largest social groups within the KTB, but there are many more minor ones, however, whether they can keep on existing, is up to those that adhere to it, things after all, will always be changing. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi. Links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.